I'm Mike, N2MAK, and I'm at the Erie Canal Way National Heritage Quarter today to test out the new Poseidon antenna from Coffee and Ham Radios. Let's get set up and get this park activated. And just to be clear, I'm not an affiliate. This video is not sponsored. All the gear that I'm going to be using, I've purchased on my own. X marks the spot. <laughs> I realized as I was setting up that that was here. All right, got 15 feet of uh, ABR RG8X coax. And uh, I'll use the uh, bongo tie uh, that I use on the uh, coax to uh, support the, um, the choke so it's not putting extra strain on the uh, antenna. The kit even includes this uh, 3D printed dingus that will go on top of the antenna mast for uh, holding the antenna up. This is a neat thing I just noticed. So the, uh, the dingus fits perfectly inside of the, uh, the mast. I'm not sure if that was uh, intentional or not, but that's awesome. And just make sure that uh, you have the, um, the car text uh, facing up for vertical polarization. Just kidding. It doesn't matter. All right, let's uh, take a look at the setup here. So you'll see the uh, orange cones those are uh, marking off the radials. There are four 17 foot radials. Now here is the uh, matching unit that was built with the uh, Coffee and Ham Radios Poseidon kit. And uh, it does use a BNC connection, so I've got an adapter on there. That is going to a choke, just a short male-female run of RG8X wrapped around a Mix 31 toroid. If you don't, make sure you label them so that you know which one is which. And then short run of coax going into the car using a short run because this is a non-resonant antenna so I want to try to minimize losses. Then you will see the radiating element. It is 25 feet and that is going up the MFJ mass which is 33 feet high. The uh, coffee and ham radios dingus is up there about one and a half sections down supporting it. And uh, the length is absolutely perfect. The way that this thing falls, um, easily able to secure it to the mast just a couple feet up and uh, have the radials going off. Let's get this thing on the air and see what it can do. All right, we're seeing signals on uh, 10 meters. It's a good sign. And it is able to tune it, find a match. Let's try some other bands. All right, six meters. Tuned up easily. 12 meters. Found a match. 15 meters. Nope, the tuner doesn't like it. All right, 17 meters. No luck. Twenty meters, let's see what it'll do. Nope, the tuner doesn't like it there. All right, 30 meters. Yep, able to find a match. Tuner will work on 30. Let's try 40. Nope, no match on 40. I'll just try 80 real quick. No luck there either. This is this is channel three on 60 meters. I'm just gonna see. Yeah, no, I didn't think it would, but it was worth a shot. Fortunately, I uh, brought a friend along, the LDG AT1000 Pro 2 tuner. It's rated for up to a thousand watts, but don't worry, we won't be using that much power.
there you go. All tuned up on 60 meters. This is all set now with the tuner for 80 all the way down to six meters. All right, we're all tuned up. Let's uh, start on uh, 10 meters and work our way across the bands. November 2, Mike, Alpha Kilo. November 2, Mike, Alpha Kilo. Good morning, 59, over. A QRZ, QRZ here, Tango India, eight stroke, November 7, Zulu Golf. November 2, Mike Alpha Kilo, 5-8 in Costa Rica. Victor, Zulu, Victor, Pedestrian Station. Yes, November 2, Mexico, America, Kilowog. Good afternoon to you, the name is Ken. Kilo Echo November. Kilo Echo November, you are 555. 555. Calling CQ, Sierra 51 Delta X Ray, Sierra 51 Delta X Ray, standing by. Delivered to Mike Delta Kilo, thank you, 57557. My name is Giannis, Roger. November 4, Lima, India, Sierra. Park to park, go ahead. That's correct, and you're coming in here about a 5.9. You're sounding good here in North Carolina. A-B-H-A-S, you are Okay, November 2, Mike Alpha Kilo. I think it's Mike up in New York. Uh, Mike, right here, you're 5 at 7. Here in Kentucky at 7, 9, 6, 4, over. Give uh, 60 meters a quick shot. CQ Poda, CQ Poda, CQ Poda. This is November 2, Mike Alpha Kilo calling CQ for Parks on the Air. Standing by for any stations anywhere. November 2, Echo, Papa, Echo. QSL, Mike, QSL. We saw you on the strange bands and I thought I'd give it a shot. You're 5'5". Five, five. I think your attendant is doing pretty well. All right, we got it tuned up on 80 meters and we're going to try... Uh, some FT8 here and see if we can uh, make a contact on 80 meters. So I'm running 50 watts power. It's SWR is down around 1.1, 1.2, real low. Tuned up nice and it's getting full power out. No ALC. All right, we got the uh, first one in the log. It's a local contact, but uh, we made it work. All right, you know what that sound means, more FT8. I am testing it out on 30 meters, and we got it tuned up real nice. Let's turn the volume down a little bit, and uh, you can have a look here as we transmit. You can see you're getting uh, 50 watts out. SWR is pretty much flat, no ALC. Uh, let's see if we make some contacts here on 30. There we go, 30 meter FT8. Nice thing about FTA is it uh, lets you enjoy your coffee. All right, we're giving FTA a shot on six meters, running 50 watts. The SWR is around uh, 1.3, 1.4. Uh, not hearing anything on the band, but we'll call out and uh, maybe we get lucky. All right, we tried, but uh, not having any luck on six meters. Signal was, this is look at uh, PSK Reporter. Signal was getting out there, just just not far, just not catching in an opening on six, but we gave it a shot. CQ Poda, CQ Poda, CQ Poda. This is November 2, Mike Alpha Kilo calling CQ for Parks on the Air, QRZ. All right, that'll do it. Uh, that was a lot of fun. I got 12 contacts in the log. Now, I know I'm not going to break any records with that, um, but I wasn't looking to work pileups today. I was looking to see how the coffee and ham radios Poseidon antenna would pair up with the ICOM 7300. And well, it wouldn't tune it, the ICOM's three to one tuner wouldn't tune it on all bands. Um, that was to be expected. I've built my own Rybakoff antenna before using the LDG four to one on on. And I've had similar results where the 7300's three to one tuner will find a match on some bands, but not others. That said, the uh, 7300 has a unique feature called emergency mode. If you uh, put it in emergency mode, it's going to limit max power to 50 watts, which is still more than enough for portable ops. And it will enhance the tuning capabilities to around 10 to 1. So uh, you can tune just about anything with that. 
Uh, I didn't go that route this time though. I wanted to run full power and uh, see what this could do. So I brought out the uh, LDG tuner and that was able to find a match on all the bands, six through 80. I didn't give 160 a shot because honestly, this antenna is probably a little or way too short for that. But uh, really happy with the results. I started off on SSB and I made voice contacts on 10, 12, 15, 17, 20. 40 and 60 meters. Yeah, 60 meters. And then I did FT8 real quick on 80 and 30 meters as well. I gave six meters a shot. I tried FT8 and voice uh, SSB. I didn't have any luck though. That's not to be surprised. There just clearly was not an opening on six meters. I know the signal was getting out because when I was doing FT8, I was uh, looking at PSK Reporter and I was getting picked up, but just regionally in, in Western New York. So um, I know it's getting out there. I know that I can uh, tune it up on six, both with the uh, LDG, but also uh, the internal tuner on the 7300 worked on six meters as well. So now that I know uh, how this antenna pairs up, I'm looking forward to using it a lot more with the 7300, but I'm also looking forward to getting it out with the ICOM 705 and working QRP to see how this will do. Um, this was a lot of fun. I definitely recommend the uh, Poseidon antenna from uh, Coffee and Ham Radios. They did an awesome job. It was not a difficult build. Uh, even for somebody like me, I, I do not have the best maker skills and soldering skills, but uh, I got it done. It was pretty quick and straightforward. Um, it, it's a fantastic kit. It's a fantastic antenna. And if you want to learn more about a Rybakov antenna, I have a playlist. I've done quite a few videos on them on, on it already. And uh, check those out. I'll, li I'll leave a link to that down below. If you have any comments or questions, uh, please uh, comment down below. And if you like this video, please click like, subscribe to my channel. I'm Mike and 2MAK73.